rewinding everything, starting mm-hmm. from scratch. You want to solve your Netflix. You want to keep Netflix from auto playing, correct? Mm-hmm. That's the that's the tip here. How do people do it? They launch their web browser, go to Netflix, and uh, account, and then edit profile. And at the bottom of that dialogue are two check boxes. Autoplay next episode in a series on all devices and autoplay previews while browsing on the device. So I uncheck both of those. Nice. That's great. That's a that's a quick tip right there. Cool. You said you had another quick tip before we move out of quick tips oh, yeah. and talk yeah, about Yeah, I came our across this by accident. Yeah. So I was watching something on my uh, Apple TV and you can uh, activate a screensaver if it's sitting there doing nothing for too long. Uh, here's what I found. If you right or left swipe on the uh, remote, it will tell you what you're looking at. Very cool. Yeah, I have with our new Apple TV, I feel like all I've had to do is just like tap lightly on the on the the touch sensor on the remote and it comes up. I don't think I've even had to swipe to do that. But yes, you get to see where it is that you're watching. And there was something we were watching the other day, John, it was like literally watching the screensaver. And it was it was like a satellite view or something. It was cruising around the earth really fast. And it was saying, you know, something about uh, approaching the Baltic Sea or whatever. And then a little later, it was like approaching Moscow or something like it was it was updating as it moved across the uh, across the globe, the globe. Which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So it was. I, it, I don't think that's true of all of them because most of the screensavers, at least the ones I've seen, you know, all stay relatively local to wherever they begin. But um, but that one was not. You know, it was a satellite thing. So yeah, I like it. That's good. 